a lot of natural events like that um we can engage and praise god for the wonderful beauty of creation and everything else um i don't put any prophetic significance on any of it i mean it's just it happens all the time you know it's just we may or may not be able to see it depending on where in the world you are it's like you know the whole thing with eclipses and things like that and, you know eclipses happen every 15 16 months or so and sometimes they happen over the sea and no one really sees them um but they're just natural occurrences um and sometimes the sun puts off you know energy like that now ultimately i think if we're going to be see a restoration of our relationship with creation with the planets with the sun then any harmful radiation that the sun now gives off i think is going to change um now whether the sun has changed in how it's outworked things or whether the earth has changed in that the barriers that were around the earth that protected the earth from particular sun have changed i'm not sure but i do feel that our relationship with the sun needs to be established correctly in that the sun is there to provide um a balanced environment for the whole solar system and therefore restoration will bring about change one way or another to see that that dealt with um but i do um praise god and also just rejoice over natural things i love the natural world i love you know the sort of looking at nature and you know we we spend quite a lot of time looking out the window at the birds and i feed the birds regularly and we've got nesting birds you know i've built and there are nesting boxes so there we've got blue tits and great tits and blackbirds and other birds nesting and magpies they're all nesting in the garden um and we like watching them you know and i feel a sense of connection to creation um and when something like the northern lights appear um it is an awe-inspiring beautiful thing and that always causes me to to think about the the wonder of god and the the, the beauty of the creation as we have it imagine what it was like before you know yeah, and that that's something which i think we want to see a restoration of creation from you know creation is longing and waiting for the sons of god to be revealed what will creation be like when sonship is fully revealed i think it will bring about change um, and transformation in that way i love natural um things waterfalls and just beautiful things you know um that when i look at them it makes me rejoice in god's goodness and wonderful love you know so it's, it's more that type of phenomena you know those people who see prophetic prophetic significance in it you know they're usually doom and gloom merchants <laughs> oh no solar flares the earth is going to be consumed with the fire of god and be burnt up rah, 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 rah. you know and the reality is these things have been going on for a long time and there are events which um you know, may change in the future but presently and they have no prophetic significance it's not like god caused a solar flare so we can see the so northern lights but God can speak to us through those things if he chooses. And I think there's a difference between something happens and God uses it to speak to us and God makes something happen. You know, and I think that's the difference, you know, in all the things that are heavenly or in the cosmos, there's a natural order to things. So the planets do align. It, it doesn't mean that that's the end of the world you know which is what happens when usually the planets align oh no we're gonna have this terrible event you know it didn't they just align you know there's a revolving which are naturally they will align some will align certain times and others and when you get all eight of them all aligned then you know that's great but it doesn't it's not anything significant really if you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.